Baltic country with almost 75% of the entire area is coastal waters and oceans. According to the Indonesian Central Statistics Agency, fish farming is an activity to maintain fish or other aquatic animals or water plants using artificial facilities, including fish hatchery activities. One of the natural products of marine life and fisheries that is often cultivated is ornamental fish. Based on the KKP records, Indonesia's ornamental fish exports were valued at USD 33 million in 2019, a significant increase from USD 21 million in 2012, including koi fish. Koi fish, or Cypernus carpio, is one of the marine biological products which is expected to be able to increase the country's foreign exchange by increasing productivity and export commodities. Activities carried out in koi fish farming include rearing bird stock, spawning bird stock, harvesting eggs or larvae, rearing larvae to become seeds, sorting and transporting fish. In its growth and development, it turns out that koi fish can be attacked by various types of disease, one of which is, is caused by bacteria. The test rate from bacteria can reach 80 until 85% of the total population causing a loss of around 5 billion rupiah. Therefore, new innovations are needed that can increase the survival of koi fish. One of the innovations needed to improve the survival of koi fish is the addition of ozonation in the koi fish breeding system as a prevention of disease. Ozone is a bacteria repellent that has properties as a strong oxidizing agent. The nature of ozone after reacting with other substances does not leave harmful chemical residues, but on the contrary, ozone before and after reacting with other substances actually produces oxygen. So, ozone is very environmentally friendly and safe to use as bacterial prevention agent in koi fish breeding. In addition, to maximize the performance of koi fish breeding, it is necessary to design a monitoring system that can be monitored remotely so the information can be known by the owner anywhere and anytime. Based on the background, the research problems in this study are first, how to design of sikoi, second, how to test the working system and sensor of sikoi, third, what is the total common bacteria after using ozone? The benefits of this research are Koi fish cultivators can apply tools that can be used to prevent the impact of disease outbreaks caused by bacteria in koi fish nurseries. In addition, to monitor the performance of koi fish breeding, there is no need to be fixated with police and time because it can be easily accessed through coupling. Cara ini adalah Ketika sistem diaktifkan, maka sensor yang terpasang akan membaca pH, keteruhan, dan partikel terlarut dalam air kolam ikan koi. Hasil pembacaan semua sensor akan ditampilkan pada LCD dan aplikasi Blink yang ada di web maupun smartphone pengguna. Adapun ozon akan hidup 30 menit dalam sehari di waktu pagi untuk meminimalisir adanya bakteri dalam kolam. Ketiga sensor tersebut akan selalu hidup dan menampilkan hasil pembacaan untuk bisa dipantau dari jarak jauh dimanapun dan kapanpun. Uji keakuratan sensor dilakukan untuk mengetahui akurasi dan ketelitian sensor. Hasil uji keakuratan sensor pH didapatkan rata-rata error sebesar 0,034. Untuk hasil pengujian keakuratan sensor TDS40 didapatkan rata-rata error sebesar 42,4 dan hasil uji keakuratan sensor turbiditi didapatkan error sebesar 2,93. Result of zone as an antibacterial. Bacterian Conway dot be applying the total platform of TPC method. The number of bacteria that appear is calculated using a colony counter, which is then recorded and multiplied by the amount of dilution that has been carried out. The number of bacteria is expressed in CFU per mil. Beginning of maintenance, the number of bacterial population in the control water reaches the range of 1,100 to 3,300, and the ozone treatment was in the range of 700 to 1,300 CFU per mil. 
At the end of the maintenance, treatment was often using on the addition of ozone the maintenance media with an overall value of total return of 3200 CFU per minute. Of ozone can suppress the growth of disease ozone bacteria. A good effect on water quality for coefficient cultivation. Treatment The abundance of bacteria that grow in each treatment did not access to the minimum threshold for the presence of common bacteria. Kesimpulan dari penelitian ini adalah yang pertama, perencangan dan penelitian si koi, sistem pemilihan bibit ikan koi dengan ozonisasi berbasis Internet of Things, menggunakan lori MCU sebagai microcontroller, ozonizer sebagai pensterilisasi air kolam, sensor pH sebagai pendeteksi pH pada kolam bibit ikan koi, sensor TBS40 sebagai pendeteksi kadar pada tanah larut pada kolam, sensor turbidity sebagai pendeteksi kekeruhan, dan pompa DC sebagai pemompa air ke filter serta IoT digunakan untuk memonitoring secara online melalui aplikasi Cloudbeam. Yang kedua adalah hasil uji total bakteri pada penelitian ini yang terbaik terdapat pada pelakuan yang menggunakan penambahan ozon pada media pemeliharaan dengan nilai rata-rata total bakteri sebesar 3.200 CFU per mili sehingga penggunaan ozon dapat menekan pertumbuhan bakteri penyebab penyakit. Hal tersebut akan berpengaruh baik dalam kualitas air terhadap budidaya ikan koi. That's all the presentation from us. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thanks for watching!